Bitcoin was rejected once more as it approached the mid area around its current levels. The first crypto buy market cap has been trending to the upside over the past week but has been unable to break above critical resistance. Related reading TA, Ethereum eyes key upside break, $3,000 holds the key as of press time, BTC's price trades at $43.691 with a 1% loss in the last 24 hours. One month from now, on March 17, the US Federal Reserve is expected to possibly announce a shift in its monetary policy and to begin its tapering process on their asset purchasing program. In addition, the financial institution could announce a hike in interest rates. The possible shift in monetary policy has been contributing with the global market's current trend to the downside as investors attempt to price in the Fed's future action. Bitcoin has been impacted by this risk-off environment, but a lot of uncertainty surrounds the crypto market. Director of Global Macro for Investment Firm Fidelity, Urian Timmer, recently presented two scenarios that the markets could follow as the Fed prepares to increase interest rates. In the first of these scenarios, the market tightens on its own to tame inflation, as Timmer said, with a potential top in 2023 of 2% and interest rate hikes incremented at 25 bits per second or 0.25% starting next March. This could be the most bullish scenario for Bitcoin and the rest of the global market. The U.S. financial institution could operate with a passive approach, and not force the financial sectors to enter a massive sell-off. The second scenario seems more aggressive, according to Timmer the ongoing inflation news will force the Fed to tighten so many times that it eventually breaks something, which will in turn force it to pivot much like it did in 2018 after a 20% sell-off in equities. Fidelity's director of macro seems optimistic, at least at the moment. Timmer believes the inflation narrative hasn't forced the Fed to take extreme measures, so interest rates could top at around 2% which could be the less painful path for Bitcoin and the global financial sector. Timmer compared the current macroeconomic situation with the tightening cycle of 1994. During this period, the market wasn't expecting the Fed to hike interest rates and was also surprised when the institution stopped its tightening program. Time will tell if this cycle will be similar. On the other hand, Jarvis Labs Ben Lilly believes there is room for a Bitcoin rally before the Fed turn full on hawkish. Lilly presented two previous scenarios, 2004 and 2015, when the financial institution was about to increase interest rates. Related reading.